When making measurements, you can do either real-time measurements, post-processing, or both. And I find that when I'm in more of a troubleshooting mode, when I'm not exactly sure what type of analysis I'm looking to do, or just looking for greater flexibility, I prefer to post-process time data. So here we're going to go through and post-process some basic time recordings that were made with Pulse Lab Shop. To get started, I'm going to open my post-processing template. Once the template's open, we simply need to load time data in order to begin the analysis. So I will select all of the recordings that were made. We could have also, we could always go through and listen to the data in the time editor and do some additional analysis. But what I'm going to do now is simply go through and post-process the recordings. So I can take all of my data, drag it over into one of my predefined process chains, and I can start the analysis. You can see it's going to process through all 12 of the recordings, and all of those results will be populated down into what we call the results matrix. One of the real advantages of using the results matrix is it gives us a very clear overview of all of the results. So if I wanted to look at all of my third octave spectrums, I can simply select the column for all of the third octave data. If I wanted to look at some FFT results, I can look at those as well. Or if I wanted to look at any single number metrics, I can select the results here in order to populate data into the displays. So now I'm actually going to go through and save those results back to the project browser. And at this point, I'd like to go through and export all of my results to Excel. When I export results, I typically like to use the project table. So I'll bring up the project table, and I'm going to minimize the process chain area. Now, if I wanted to export just my third octave results, I can filter the table. So all I have are my one third octave results. I can select all of the data in the table, right click and export those results to Excel. And now we can go through and define where I'd like that data to go into my Excel worksheet and how I would like that data to be exported. So I would like it exported in DB. And now I can click export and we'll see that Excel will pop open as soon as the export is complete. So here's Excel with all of my one third octave results exported to Excel. Now I could always go back and export my FFT results or any other results here to the same worksheet.